Jonah will be out there today. Yep. And um, everybody else, we'll see how the week goes. Um, good football team coming in here. Um, offensively, quarterback um, can make magic, really good player. Uh, can beat you with his arm and his legs. They got really good skill guys, uh, good scheme. Defensively, I think one of the best defenses will play, truthfully. Uh, they play extremely hard. They're very sound. They tackle. They pressure the quarterback. They can cover. Um, you know, impact players all three levels. They got continuity on that side of the ball. You know, they 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 play with accelerated vision, as I would say. They take the ball away. Um, so we got to work cut out for us. It's going to be a big time challenge. Do, uh, do, do defending rookie quarterbacks is that any different now than maybe when you first got into coaching in the league, or is it about the same? Mm, I don't know that, Darren. I think uh, every quarterback's different. Every scheme's different. We got to know what he likes to do and how he operates, and try to make it hard as make it hard on him as much as we can. But through watching film, in what ways does he play beyond his years? Um, he knows where to go with the ball. He, um, he's accurate. And then the extension plays, you know, is unique. Before you went down, what sense did you get of what Jonah could give you this season? Um, be a big time player for us. When you look at his skill set, are there things that, that jump out? Yeah, I mean, he's, he's very technique sound. He's strong. Uh, he's smart. Um, plays with really good pad level. He was, he was, you know, he didn't play much, but he played well. The the snaps that he played, you know. So we'll take it day by day with him. How are Naquan and Roy doing? See, so kind of. I think they'll be kind of limited, both of them, as the week goes on here. Uh, but they're both doing well. But Sean. Sean, uh, same kind of boat. He feels he feels pretty good. So I don't. Uh, he'll he'll be out there today. What makes this defense so strong in the red zone? They seem to be at the yeah, top. number one in the league. Um, you know, they got enough stuff, and they're sound, and they play fast, and, you know, they're coordinated extremely well. And they got, you know, really good players, you know. So they they do a, they do a good job down there. What's it like for you to coach against the man? Flu. <laughs> Flu. My guy, man. Yeah, it's uh, it'll be good to see him. But, uh you guys know my story with him. I was, you know, worked for him for three years in Indy. Um, people ask me about him all the time. It's like I, the first thing that comes to my mind is elite leadership skills. Um, I learned so much from him, um, not just defensively, because I learned a lot defensively from him. Brand new system for me, you know, um, but just the day to day and accountability and how to get the most out of your guys and what you know that looks like and I took a lot what I learned from him to Philly and then to here you know so he's definitely helped shaped my game you know so it's he's been a really cool resource for me um, I love his family his, his family did a lot for my family and Indy um, yeah it'd be good to see him with the familiarity does that maybe up the difficulty as far as preparation for no no, I mean, it's, you know, it's different teams, different players, all that stuff. But uh, I, I know he'll have his team ready to play. I know that. How does that work in the lead up to a game? Are you guys texting at all or are you guys no contact? I'll this? leave it between us. We're about halfway to the midseason point. How would you assess your overall friends have play and more specifically the pass rush? Yeah, I think we got to continue to find ways to affect the passer. You know, there, there's been some there's been some glimpses and some games where we've done it pretty consistently, and there's been some games that we haven't been so consistent. So, I think all eleven guys, you know, rushing coverage, cover and rush. My wife knows that phrase. You know, she knows it to be true, though. You know, um, so everyone's got to be coordinated, and and this is a big time challenge for us because you he forces you to play differently on defense. You know, he really does because of his skills. Said so, we're gonna have to execute that plan. How much, of a excuse me, how much of a challenge is it also with the pass rush with the way quarterbacks get rid of the ball a lot of times <clears throat> so quickly? Yeah, it's it's hard. You know, some guys win and the ball's out. You know, whizzing by their ear. You know what I mean? So that's just the NFL game today. That's why there's so many points. That's why there's so many elite quarterbacks out there. You know, it's you gotta you gotta do things throughout the game that try to make them uncomfortable, you know? And there's a whole list of things that go into that. So 
uh, we got to be on on the details of that this week. You talk so much about the technique for defensive backs. Where is Garrett at on all that? He's stuff? doing well. He's doing well. Yeah, I, um, you know, he he continues to improve each each week. I think you know, there's learning from all his snaps every game that he plays, and he's you know he's young. You know, he's I know second year, but he kind of missed the first first part of the last year. Um, coming off the injury, so he's got a ton of growth, but he's playing good football for us right now. We ask a lot of him, um, and he can he can do it physically, he can do it mentally. He's been a he's been a good player for us. How has he grown in that year since he got healthy? Year or so since he got healthy last possible. Um, off the field, I think he's grown with his with his process and what he does. Um, he's a guy that. Uh, um, not to get too much into his business, but I felt like was doing a little too much at times. Um, so we kind of streamlined his process a little bit. Um, and then I think just, you know, understanding, you know, what we ask of him and those different techniques and what needs to get done. And, you know, he's got a tough, he's get, he gets tough straw a lot, you know, in the slot. That's a tough position to play. Because um, you got the whole route tree to defend, and a lot of times you don't have any help, and you know you got can't get beat deep, but you got to challenge the first and second level routes. You know, there's a lot going on for him, so he's doing a good job. I'm glad we have him. When you see guys, especially young guys, put too much on their plays, is that something you step in personally and say, hey, like, why don't we work on cutting out? This, just focus on that. Yeah, just just all of our players are different, but he's a guy that actually is funny that you asked, Taylor. He's a guy that pops out in my mind that, um, you know, when he leaves here, he does a lot. And I and I just kind of have talked to him about streamlining, you know, what he's doing from 6 p.m. to 11 p.m., you know, to make sure that he's ready to go, you know. And uh, it's, it's always you'd rather have that. But you look at his iPad. It's like, dude, how'd you watch six hours of tape from seven to from seven to mid? Like, like this, it's, there's only five hours. You know what I mean? Like, so um, you know, I'm on him about getting enough rest and and unwinding. You know, he's he's uh, he puts a lot of time into his craft, which I appreciate. But you got to be smart about it too. So he's and he's receptive and he's good and he's working on it. I saw his mom in the lobby in Miami. And she was like, you know, when she comes and visits, he has a process that he doesn't let allow anyone to mess up. You know what I mean? That's a good thing, you know? So it's he's uh, he's very mature, very mature. What, what is the realistic expectations in terms of getting Darius on the field for however many? Yeah, one day at a time with Darius. You know what I mean? I know procedurally we made the move that we made. Uh, we'll take it one day at a time, but he's doing good. Of this game, as a coach in this game, do you have any sort of reaction when you see a play like unfolded with, with the Bears and the Commanders that last? Just try to learn from it, you know, both si both both sides, you know, just like we do around the league. You know, we try to learn from everything that we can, um, educate our guys, and and just try to learn. Given that lock, that kind of loss, do you notice teams having more of a chip on their shoulder, playing with a little more? I'm sure, they will. Who's uh, got the forty? The Chris game? Moore. Chris Moore. Yeah, he did a good job. He was wearing uh, 17 last week. So he did a good job for us. Coach, where do you assess the, just the mentality, the emotion of this team right now? Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a good question. Um, mentality is, is it doesn't matter how you feel, you got to act. How has Moore, with what his, his role this year, where he was active all that time, and then when Zay came back, he was, ends up back on the he's, doing, he's a pro, man. He, he puts a lot into his craft and feel really comfortable about his role, uh, you know, and his role ascending on a drop of a dime. He can do that for us. So glad he's here. Getting yeah, back to the vibe of the team, each set after the game, those are, those are games you went to one in the past, and now this is back-to-back -back weeks where you've come from behind. Can that add a confidence? Can it add a swagger to a team when you're showing yourself that you can win in any situation? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, um, we laugh about it like this is the whole NFL. You're a couple plays away from being better than your record and worse than your record. You know what I mean? That's the NFL. So, um, you know, that's why we don't really live in the past, you know. But I think our team knows, like, if we play good, clean football, we can beat anybody. You know what I mean? That's the, that's the attitude that they take. But the challenge is, is you win Sunday today. <laughs> 
you win Sunday on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, you know. So um, so that's what our guys focused on right now. On the pre They're in meetings right now, and then it's going to be in the practice field today. How do you feel about the team's consistency the last couple of weeks? S say it again, Josh. How do you feel about the team's consistency the last couple of weeks? Uh, you're asking me, so I have a high standard of consistency, so it's always can improve, you know. Um, and that's what you're always striving for, you know. But again, like I'm, I'm, I'm uh, I'll have my eye on today, the consistency of doing the right things today in practice, you know, everybody, you know, from whether it be ball security to our effort to uh, the details of how they get aligned to the calls being made to, you know, how many balls we got on the ground to our tempo, you know, everything, man, everything matters, everything matters. You mentioned close games and, and just the way the NFL is and confidence of a team. You know how many games are close games in the fourth quarter and what, what has to happen to, to win there. How, how much by like, doing that do you feel has, has helped that confidence of a team? Yeah, I, uh, again, though, like it's, it's about the players. You know what I mean? So they put in the work, and then when it, it's, you know, time to make plays to either win or lose the game. I feel really good about our guys because of the preparation that was put forth to put them in that position to make those plays. So um, we don't we don't lack confidence. This team doesn't lack confidence. Um, they know they can play with anybody, but they also know that they can get, you know, smoked by anybody too if we're not on point. So that's the NFL, you know, but I think um, what our team's doing a good job of right now, we'll see today. Um, you know, can we compartmentalize each day and, and really maximize each thing that we're doing on a day to day basis? Um, so I'll, I'll have an answer for you after today, see if it's to my liking.